Hey y'all, welcome to today's video. So I'm so stinking excited because I got this package in the mail from this company called The Brow Trio. It has been all over my Facebook. Every time I get on, it's advertisements for this crazy looking brow kit that just like stamps your eyebrows on perfect. And it's waterproof. It's super easy. You use a stencil. It just looks like insanely too good to be true. So I was like, we have got to try this thing out. So I reached out to the company and I was like, I really want to try out y'all's product and do a review of it. Y'all, they sent me everything they have on their website, basically. I am so excited to try these things out today. So let's open up our little package. You're laughing at me. Yeah. First thing in our package of amazing goodies, they sent me, I should pull out this little pack and slip. I'd also like to mention that they gave me a coupon code. So if you use the code brow goals, all caps, you can get 10% off your total order on their website if we like their products. So we got, this is the Berry Brow Band that they sent us. So I guess you use this and you put it on. And if I look a little crazy, I look like someone from uh, like one of those Star Trek shows or something. I don't know. Somebody wears something like this. I look a little crazy because I did not do my eyebrows for the purpose of doing this video today. So all the rest of my makeup is done. And if you want the link for that look, I'll pop it up here or you can, and you can shop it through the description link down below. But yeah, I look a little crazy because I don't have my brows done, but everything else is done. And we're going to try out this brow stuff today. This band, I guess, holds your hair back while you're doing your brows. It keeps everything out of your face, which is really nice. And it retails for $12. The next little goodie that we got, they are brow lift and wax. Okay, and this retails for $18. They also sent me the brow setting gel. It retails for $15. And then they sent me a brow pencil in the shade dark brown. And it retails for $16. And then the main, Jane here. Main Jane. I don't think that's a saying. The Ultimate Brow Kit. This is the main reason I reached out to them because I wanted to try this kit. This is what I have seen all over Facebook. Been blowing up. Looks amazing. So this is called the Ultimate Brow Kit and they sent me the color dark brown. And y'all, let's get right into this thing. Cute little like jelly silicone filling pouch love cute color says the brow trio right here by the way if y'all like my nails which i'm obsessed with today um i just did them yesterday but y'all can shop through my nail link i might pop that up here or you can click the description and shop down there my nail look okay back to this so in this little bag which retails for thirty-eight dollars you get this which is the main tool that you use to do your brows it's got so on one end is this little like, feels like a beauty sponge or like a beauty blender, but it's this little squishy stamper. And then on the other end, you have a comb to comb the brows. And they gave us this cute little nifty case to put it in, which is nice to store it. You also get the pomade. So depending on what color brows you wanna do or what color your hair is, they have a variety of colors, but they sent me dark brown. Um, And this is supposedly waterproof. It's like a pomade. So, and by the way, their packaging is super cute. It looks like a B, but it also looks like a three because Brow Trio. That's really cute. This is the color and this is what the pomade looks like. Okay, so that's what you use to stamp your brows. And then this also comes in the kit. These are your brow stencils. And y'all, they send you a variety. So hopefully there will be one that will fit your brows. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So it comes with 12 stencils, y'all. So it looks like you get extra large, low arch, high arch, large, regular high, regular arch, extra large. Okay, 
So to break it down in the stencils, you get a low arch, a medium arch or regular arch, and then you get high arch. So you get a low, medium, and high arch, and, and then each arch shape has small, medium, large, and extra large. So it goes by the shape and the size of your brows, which is nice. So I have to turn, I have to determine what size my arch is. So do we have a low, medium, or high arch? Um, don't think, let's see. That one, kinda hard to see, but it just about fits perfectly. But that's a small. Let's look at the high arch and see. Uh, I don't know, the high arch might actually work better. Am I a high arch? We'll go with high arch, I think. That was a small. Well, if I line up my arch, the medium actually might be perfect. So I think I'm a medium high arch. Yeah, that looks like a medium high arch. I think determining your eyebrow shape and size is probably the hardest part. I don't know. Large. I'm going to say I'm a medium or regular arch medium. So can we get more basic than that? Medium arch and medium size. We're gonna go with that. I think the high arch, a little too pointy looking for my taste. I think I'm more of a relaxed brow kind of gal. Yeah, we're gonna go with regular arch in size medium. And then the last thing that the kit comes with is obviously the instruction booklet. So, okay, basically we take our pomade, we take our little tool, and we take our little sponge. We dab it into the pomade like this. Okay. And then it says for a softer look, which I don't want to go too bold because sometimes I look crazy if I have like defined. This color is so dark. I don't want it to look like drawn on eyebrows. So it said to dab the pomade um, in the lid like this. Dab the excess. And that'll give you more of a softer look. Okay. So. Here we go. We take our stencil. You line it up where you want it and then you hold it firm and then you start in the back because you want the tail to be bolder. So we'll start back here and then you feather it into the beginning like so. Kind of wonder if I dabbed off too much. I may have dabbed off too much product here. All right, let's see how it looks. Whoa, okay. And it says take your spoolie and kind of feather the beginning a little bit. Okay, now for someone like me, first of all, that brow looks way better than this one. So that's insane. And if you're someone who has a hard time doing brows or getting the shape right, I mean, y'all, that took me like what? A minute, maybe, if that, 10 seconds way easier than sitting here with a brow pencil drawn on your eyebrows and trying to get the shape right. The only issue I'm going to have, but this is just my issue with my brows. For some reason, it's like my hair just like stops right there. And so you can always see that line where my hair stops. So I'll probably go in with their brow pencil and do just like a few hair strokes so that you can't see that defined line where my brow ends. But y'all, look at that brow. I am shocked. Okay, so let's do the other brow real quick. So it says to take a makeup wipe and just wipe off that product. We're gonna wipe off that product so that we can do the other side nice and fresh. Product is gone and now we have a clean slate to start with on the other side. Look at this, y'all. Look at the difference that a good brow makes. I mean, come on. Okay, so we line up. I'm going off of my arch. I'm lining up my arch first. Take some pomade, dab off the excess, start at the tail, and then blend it into the front. Okay. Y'all, look at this brow. This is so good. Whoa, that looks so much better. I think I need a little more product in the front, so let's just try it out. I think I dabbed off too much. I am gonna get a little product and not dab it off. Whoops! <laughs> okay, that's better. Y'all, if you have issues doing your brows, first off, this is so much quicker, so much more precise, no guessing. Like you just put the stencil on there and your brows are good. Shocked, I'm shocked. 
that this worked that good. Um, I am gonna fix my beginning of my brows just because like I said, for some reason where my hairs stop, it's always super noticeable. And I know like you can kind of feather it like that, but the waterproofness of the product. I mean, yeah, I'm wiping and I'm not seeing any kind of like, whoa, no transfer or nothing. It's not rubbing off. That is crazy. Like there's nothing on my fingers. <sighs> I'm so glad I like this because I was nervous. I was like, they're going to send me these products. And then what if I don't like them? Then I'm going to feel bad saying like, Meow. but y'all that looks awesome. Okay. Let's try the pencil to like fill in the beginning of my brows because my brows have to be difficult. Like I said, the color they sent me is dark brown. And it looks like on one end you have ooh, a super fine pencil, which I love. And then on the other end, you have another good spoolie. So that's good. So we can go ahead and put this spoolie back in our little nifty case. And that whole little kit is good to go. So this is their pencil. So let's just add a few strokes like this. See how that just made it look like you can't see a harsh line like you can on this side. That just like made it perfect. A few brush strokes and we're good to go. Wow, wow, wow. I'm shocked, y'all. I am obsessed. I might have just found my new, like, favorite way to do my brows because this is so easy and so fast. I'm going to stick my little brow stencil that I use in the booklet so that it's easy for me to find in our little kit here. All zipped up, super nice in our little kit, y'all. Obsessed. Obsessed. So far, we're two for two because... I mean, I love this kit. That was so easy. Love the brow pencil. We also have the brow set and gel and the brow lift and wax. So, okay. So with the brow lift and wax, it says brush brow hairs up using the brow application wand. Follow with the comb to separate brow hair and to secure the hair in place. Ooh, so this is what this looks like. So basically, ooh, it's got this comb here. And then if you unscrew it, this is the magic stuff here. So this is the lift and wax. So I guess this lifts your brow and then this, you comb hairs up and it gives you like a super laminated look once you put the wax in. Let's look at the setting gel before we use that. With the brush, follow the natural growth of your brow hair for a lightweight hold. For a thicker and more fluffy look, brush your brow hair up. See, I think I'm more of a, a light hold. I don't like like super laminated looking brows. So I think I'm gonna use this one for now, but I'll definitely try the other one out and see. So this is the brow setting gel. Super cute packaging. Whoa. <laughs> This thing just fell again. Was that funny? Yeah. <laughs> what in the world? This is the brow setting gel. So I guess it's just like a clear gel. So we'll just brush, brush it through to kind of give our brows a little structure. You can brush it up for a fluffier, like fuller brow, or you can brush it in the direction of your hair just to kind of set the hairs in place. I don't really like a crazy, like bushy looking brow like that. So I'm gonna brush mine in the direction of the brow. I am obsessed. Okay, let's take this headband off and check out our finished brows. They look natural. They don't look crazy drawn on. I don't think you'd ever know that I used a stencil and like a stamp basically to put my brows on. I feel like they just look normal. Like they just look good. I am so, so excited that I got this and so happy. Thank you to the Brow Trio for sending me all these goodies. I am definitely going to use them and y'all need to go grab this because this is crazy. I'm shocked. Again, use the code BROWGOALS and y'all can get 10% off y'all's order. Whoa, 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 whoa. Obsessed. Okay. That's it for today's video. I hope y'all liked it. And if you did, y'all give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, y'all subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.